to my channel. My name is Sam, for those who don't know me. And today, we are back at it at the abstract paintings. So this time, we're gonna do some testing of techniques. So I'm gonna go over six different techniques that I have learned or uh, discovered that I thought I could share with you guys. And uh, you can try it out for yourself. Uh, if you're inspired to do some type of artwork at home, let me know down below uh, what you guys come up with because I always want to know what you guys are uh, thinking for these videos. Test different uh, uh, ways to use your brush. I actually have one extra technique that doesn't involve uh, the paintbrush but actually uh, just being able to recycle something that uh, you get uh, quite often is uh, a nice feature, a nice uh, idea. So uh, without a further ado, let's get into it. What you need. Black paint and dish. Paint brushes, I use two. Water dish, pieces of paper. Uh, in this particular one, I use an eight by 10 to test the uh, techniques. And then at the end, I use smaller pieces that are two sheets of 8x10s divided into four. Tape to hold down the pieces of paper that you're using. And a plastic bag or a cardboard. The first technique that we start with will be adding paint on the end of the brush and just dabbing it repeatedly along the page adding more paint and more water as we go to uh, increase the effect. Next step, we add paint on the end of the brush uh, where your handle is and drag it along the page. And then once you have your desired lines, taking the brush and swooping it in one direction. giving it kind of like an eyelash effect is what I like to call this. Next one, we actually just dab off the brush first to get excess water off and then uh, gradually swoop it side to side using just the edge of the brush. Next is taking, again, paint and adding it to the back, dabbing it on the page, and taking a semi-dry brush to uh, make a gradient kind of swoosh uh, as you go back up and down the page. Next one, you're going to need quite a bit of water on your brush uh, just to get these droplets effect. And depending on um, the size of the droplets and how much water on your page, uh, you just have to add more water as you go. Next step, I uh, actually saw this on Pinterest uh, using bubble wrap, which we know we would like to reuse and recycle uh, materials as much as possible. So just cover the entire uh, cutout piece of the bubble wrap in whatever paint color you choose. And then you press down uh, with the paint directly on the page, making it like a stamp-like uh, piece. And then just repeat it over and over again until satisfied.
liking my video. If you liked it, don't forget to give that thumbs up button a press. And if you haven't yet, uh, make sure to subscribe down below. Um, 